Java Joe Musgrove is just hours away from returning to the mound for the first time since making history for the Padres. Fresh off the team's first ever no hitter, San Diego native will look to get the Friars back on track against the Pirates. But before he takes the hill, ABC 10 News reporter Marie Cornell shows you the celebration today at his former high school, where his legacy is now cemented in foothiller lore. Before the world knew him as Joe Musgrove, the Padre that made history, becoming the first player in the team's history to throw a no-hitter, those from Grossmont High School, where he graduated from, tells us there's so much more to this friar. He was a great athlete, a good student, um, you know, re respected by his peers and his and our staff. That's Principal Daniel Barnes, who says Joe is a regular on campus. Right after spring training, he spent a day with their baseball team. Catcher Isaiah Gomez talks about how much that meant to the team. Before our game, he sat and talked with us for a while, and it's, it's really awesome to listen to him talk about the game because it's just different with him. And and uh, he ended up staying after our staying to watch our game, and it was pretty cool. Weeks later, this happened in Texas, the moment Joe made history, becoming the first Padre to throw a no hitter. While this was happening, the Padres were already creating plans to make a mural. Paul Jimenez is the artist. Even as, as the no-hitter was, was happening, to, to, to get ready and get in our car, get our paint and ready to go. And then um, the next morning we started. Aside from this, the Padres also have plans to hold a ceremony celebrating the no-hitter before Friday night's game versus the Dodgers. Marie Cornell, ABC 10 News.